safety officers in Lawrence Township. But when I started in, back in 19, mid-70s, I worked security at Lawrence Central High School in 1981 is when I started there, actually. Two of us did the uh, security for football and basketball games. <laughs> Today, we've grown because of the times and the changes and the needs for Lawrence Township. We have 85 part-time officers, firefighters, and EMTs. Uh, we have 35 uh, approximately daily out here. 45 to 50% of them are in the high school. We have two officers outside of each high school greeting the people as they come on campus and see who they are and what they're doing. The rest of them we have in the middle schools. In the elementaries, we're divided between east and west. We have officers that roam the elementary schools and assist them for whatever the needs may be. From there, we have transportation, and we have officers assigned to different areas for traffic control in order to get our students in in the morning and out in the afternoon. From there, we have, we have uh, expanded into the athletics and the large events. Now we are using walk-through metal detectors or wands as people come to our events. And I'll let Dr. Mehta expand on that. Thanks, Jim. Uh, yeah, talk about athletics and large events. Uh, as Dr. Smith said initially, this is when we welcome thousands of people onto our campuses. And unlike during the school day, we don't have the opportunity to necessarily vet them at our front office. Uh, we welcome them through the gate, they pay their $5, and they come watch a sporting event. Uh, we're fortunate. Uh, we have over 800 athletic contests a year, uh, and we, don't, we seldom have any issues. Um, let's first talk about those weeknight events, the small non-revenue events, as we, as we call them in the athletic world, that have 50 to 100 people. Uh, we always have a police officer on campus at, at all times during those events. We also have a certified athletic trainer it's predominantly for the student athletes, but it's also there are times where we have a fan, usually a parent, that has a medical issue, whether it be falling down the bleachers or you know, feeling some chest pain, and we have them there and they're able to help. Uh, going on to the big events, um, we don't just roll the ball out and, and open up the gates on those Friday nights. Uh, typically, a month away, we we'll start planning those events and how we're going to get people in and out and what our security protocols are going to be. Uh, there's a lot of people, officials from both schools, whether it be an LC or an Atlanta game or a LC Carmel game, we have a security plan in place. Uh, as Mr. Parrish said, last year Lawrence Township went to walk through metal detectors or wanding, and now we're seeing a lot of other schools follow our lead on doing that. And, as we talked about, there was an interesting question, why would we need to do that for a high school game? Well, we do it at Lucas Oil Stadium, we do it at the Pancras Light Fieldhouse, of course, we're going to do it at our events as well. It's a big event, and in, in today's society, we need to make sure we're safe. We want people to feel safe, and we've been very fortunate with the feedback we've received from that. People like that we're doing that. They, they know that they're going into a safe environment. Uh, that's, that's really what we do on the athletic end of things to, to keep people feeling safe and, and have a good, secure environment. As we see, we have two more uh, additions to our security group. Axel, and nobody's met Nico yet, but Axel is uh, our narcotic detection dog. He's a very social dog. Uh, he's been in the classrooms and we're using the kids that are having meltdowns and problems throughout the day. It kind of brings a calm soothing to the students. And Axel rolls over, rubs his belly a little bit, and we're back to normal classes. So Axel's been great. Nico's coming on board, hopefully, around uh, the end of October, 1st of November. Nico is a weapons identifier, along with being able to identify bombs, explosives, or any other scent associated with a weapon. So he will be joining us as we see what happens in the future at Lawrence Township and around the community. Along with us is we have Matt and Axel here tonight with us. Um, we had a video, but that didn't work, but uh, Matt's uh, running through Guys with a little show here. Uh, as he's getting ready, Matt Hickey is a retired firefighter of 33 years. He's been a reserve officer from the Sheriff's Department to the City of Lawrence for 30 years. He's been with the township for about 10 years and a canine for us for two years. So Matt is a true public servant and has served this community well. Matt, if you would like to do some quick demo. I can multitask. Thank you, Jim. 
Uh, as he said, this is Axel. He's four and a half years old. Uh, he was a war dog. He was operational in Afghanistan for a year. And uh, we got him in Lawrence Township through a grant program. Very fortunate. His primary mission is narcotics detection. Uh, he is trained to sniff the five big ones, cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, marijuana, and something else I can't remember. He knows what it is. <laughs> but, um, that's what And you can see he's uh, military trained, uh, so he's very, very obedient. And as uh, I think some of your children, when we were coming in, right, uh, swarmed on him when we did the belly rub and Axel threw his paws up in uh, uh, Brook Park, right? Uh, they got to meet Axel and they loved all over him. One of the, the one of the cool things they do, they get a kick out of is Axel has his own school ID tag. <laughs> so uh, he's, he's very good at what he does. We use him in the schools for deterrent a lot. About, I don't know what you say, about 60, 50 percent of it's deterrent because the kids uh, spread the word about Axel through their tweets. <laughs> They know him. Yeah, they know, they know Axel. They, they don't know the guy on the other end of the lead too much, but they're very, very familiar. Uh, uh, yes, he wants that. So, uh, he'll find lost children. Uh, he'll find lost senior citizens. We have, fortunately, not, have not had to use that yet, but he does, he will track lost children. Uh, his other discipline is he will find articles like uh, book bags, uh, keys, cell phones, um, anything that you can think of that uh, on the police end of it for evidence, like if there was a crime and somebody discarded something on the side of the road, Axe is very good at finding that. But uh, before we all came in here, I did place a couple of uh, hides, we call them, narcotic hides. And I want to give you a quick demonstration of just kind of what we do uh, in the schools. Uh, lockers are his big bread and butter. We run the lockers in the hallways uh, pretty regularly. Uh, we run the school parking lots of the vehicles, and uh, the big misnomer that a lot of our people have is that uh, if it's in a car, you can't smell it, but I'm telling you, Axel can, <laughs> and he's proven that over and over again. Um, we use him at events and, and things like that, and a lot of PR and stuff like that, but I've got two hides in the room. I'm going to uh, walk him through. I'm, he's going to be on the lead, so he's not going to be free, um, and I'm going to show you kind of what he does. Now, when he gets odor, typically when he's working. And you'll see a change in his behavior when I give him the command to uh, go to work. He'll get all excited. When he gets older, he'll start doing all kinds of weird stuff. His breathing will change. And when he gets to where he thinks the source of the odor is, he will take a big breath and sit and look at me for his reward. Now we're gonna just kind of do this room real quick and you're gonna see him find a couple hides, hopefully. Hopefully only two. <laughs> Axel, Axel, you ready to go to work? Are you ready to go to work? It's okay, it's okay. We're going to find the work, we're going to walk around. He's going to sniff, see his nose go on. I'm going to bring him around here. Sniff. How about this? He's checking it out. Axel, how about up here? You can see him working, he's working, he's hunting right now. How about in here? Is there anything in here? We're going to come around. We'll work the perimeter of the room. Is there anything under that table? He's going to work. I'm the dope on a rope. How about up here? How about this trash can? There's a case right here. I'm going to have to check this No? Oh, oh, hopefully not. Now, you see how he ignores people? He's really not concerned about the people. So he can be very safe. Now, I'm not going to walk him back and forth just because I just don't want to get your legs all hairy. <laughs> but I would if I was, you know, really do this. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go, it's okay. It's okay. Find it. This, this could be a parking lot. It's okay. It's okay. See him sniffing. He's working. He's working. Okay. He's telling me he's got something. Are you sure it's in there? Now this is the game of <laughs> Now he's looking at me, he locked down, <laughs> and he sat down, and I'm going to try to pull him off of it. Are you sure it's not over here? Is it over here? Is it over here? Good boy! Good boy, Axel! Good boy! So, that's his thing. Now that was something I planted, so I'll just, 
Now, <laughs> this would be a typical uh, find, and this is a prop that I do use, and that is uh, methamphetamine, okay, that was in here. Uh, just a very little bit of methamphetamine. That's one of the scents that he is trained to sniff. Now, you see how fast I could search this entire room? I searched this entire room. I'm not done yet because I'm taking a break, but he can clear out, I think, uh, uh, Mr. Valdez and some of you will show that how fast we can go do an entire building of lockers. Axel will run down the go. As a matter of fact, Mr. Parrish is always telling me to slow down. Uh, he can clear out, and it's just as important not to find drugs in those lockers. And I'm very happy always when I go, you know, to the principal and say, hey, that hallway's clear. So let's go find something else. Those? Matt, we all thank you and Axel. Yep. All right. Good deal. Keep moving on. We'll remind Dr. Hunter not to bring lunch bags. He's all excited. Yeah. Uh, and our goals here, our mission is not to find drugs. We don't want to find drugs in our campus. So Hassel has helped us do that. And the mission is not to find them, not to, not to have them in our in our buildings. Uh, when we have drugs in our building, it relates to other crimes, other things going on, and this is just one thing that we've removed that will prevent crimes in our own building because it does happen. Kids trying to deal, they're stealing from each other. We're taking that atmosphere away and trying to change the whole atmosphere of the school at this time. Um, the second dog will do the same thing once we get him. 